Welcome back to Going Walkabout. The desert, not one of the more hospitable environments, especially in summer, the California desert can stay in the 100 degree temperatures for weeks or months once summer begins. The ground feels parched, the trees feel parched, and we start feeling a bit parched as we stare at the thermometer going up and up. Even staying in a nice mid-century Airbnb with a pool, the heat can get to you. After a week of temperatures over 105 degrees, we know it's time for a break. In this video, we'll explore a Southern California mountain town where you can go for a day or longer to beat the heat. The picturesque mountain village of Idlewild. Idlewild sits in the San Jacinto Mountains, about a two hour drive east from Los Angeles or about an hour and a half drive west from the desert cities on Highway 74. We were lucky. We jumped on the 74, which happened to be just outside our doorstep. The drive is actually quite pretty. It's very picturesque with boulders in the first stage, accompanied by hairpin twists and turns as you elevate off the desert floor. Once you are through the climb, the scenery turns to high desert scrub and trees. You'll notice you're already feeling cooler looking at the greenery all around. You'll pass the Paradise Valley Cafe on your left if you're coming from the desert cities. The scenery will change yet again to pine trees in a long sweeping valley. Just a few more twists and turns and you will be in Idlewild. It will be 20 degrees cooler than the desert or Los Angeles and you can breathe in the pine scented air. Driving into the town center, you'll notice a large rock that dominates the view. That is Taquitz Rock. Beautiful to look at and those that have the inclination can hike or rock climb around and on it too. Best to park in this town center to have a look around. If you're more into hiking, you'll follow the signs north to where it says hiking trails. There are many unique things about Idlewild. However, at the top of the list would be the town mayor who happens to be a dog, Max has officially been town mayor since 2012. And every time a Max passes on, another Mayor Max takes his or her place. Currently, the position is held by Mayor Max III. For those of you with pets, bring them along. Idlewild is a super pet friendly little town. And who knows, if you're lucky, you might be able to give the mayor a pet and a treat. Having left the desert early to beat the heat, we're ready for a late breakfast. There's no better place to stop than the Red Kettle. It's easy to find just off the main street. You can't miss the Red Kettle sign like a welcome beacon to all. The Red Kettle epitomizes the Cafe Americana with all the locals, the hysterical vintage signs that put a smile on your face as you swig your coffee. And then there's the food, which makes breakfast your favorite meal of the day. After breakfast, a stroll is in order. There are several gift shops with unique things, so leave plenty of time to have a good look around. There's many shops on the main road, and also there's a bit of an outdoor mall that has shops and many art studios in it. So don't miss that. Across the street from that are parking spaces and a park. The park has some beautiful wood sculptures inside of it, but across the street from it is a sculpture that is magnificent with all of the mountain animals you can think of, including the loyal dog. I love wandering around the leafy lanes. With a cool breeze, it's heaven for those of us from the desert. You must keep an eye out for the painted deer. I believe everyone in town is really into this. They are everywhere, and one is more creative than the next. 
If you are staying overnight in one of those adorable cottages, don't miss the Rustic Theater. It's small town date night at its best for a dinner and a movie. Speaking of date night and staying in town longer, Idlewild has loads of quaint accommodations. Many of the locations have cabins with kitchens and fireplaces. We used to come out with our dog for the weekends when we lived in Marina del Rey. The village atmosphere, clean air, and quiet were a godsend after crowded Los Angeles. And you can come visit in the winter too. There are many fun quirky shops and restaurants and near them you'll see many walls done with beautiful wall art. So take time to walk down some of the less known streets and lanes so that you can view some of these beautiful works of art. If you find yourself getting parched from the walkabout, stop in at the Idlewild Cream for a cone. Homemade ice cream since 1970. Can't beat it. Across the street from the ice cream place is one of my favorite places, the gardens, brimming with beauty. I'm so glad we no longer have a home as I might be inclined to purchase a load of their colorful plants and fill up the back end of our old truck. There are vintage dress shops and bakeries. Do check schedules online before you go if there's a particular place you want to see. We were there on Tuesday and many restaurants were closed. They most likely stay open for the weekend and then close Monday, Tuesday. Before leaving the area, we took a drive up to the trailheads. From there, you can see Suicide Rock, the other prominent landmark in the area. There are over 300 climbing routes that have been used to climb this beautiful rock formation. Heading out of town, we made our last stop. It's a mural behind a gastro pub. The mural beautifully depicts the firefighters who protect these mountain havens. Without them, the mountain folks would be in fear of the yearly fires that plague all the California forest areas. I loved how the artist was able to incorporate a bit of humor in the design with Rocky Raccoon. A quick and pleasant ride home and then a nice cold glass of Champers to ward off the desert heat. We hope you've enjoyed this trip to the local mountains. If you did, a thumbs up would be greatly appreciated or better yet, subscribe. Cheers for now.